so I figured I had all my paintings done. I have them all framed and wrapped up and there's just one more painting that's bubbling around in my head and I just have to put it down on paper. So this is the last painting for Nauvoo. It's called Oxcart, Oxcart. Um, once again, I was trying to put some figures and animals in with the buildings that are in Nauvoo. So, I um, wanted to capture some of that early morning feeling that uh, Becky and I had as we um, visited Nauvoo last November. So, um, one more painting to frame and uh, then we're off for Nauvoo. So the next thing I have to do is wrap everything up in bubble wrap and make sure it's safe for the trip back to Nauvoo. And uh, next stop, Nauvoo, Illinois. So we got our uh, paintings all delivered to, to the gallery and ready to go and uh, the next morning I was a little early for uh, the Meet the Artist event and so I had enough time to set up my watercolors and uh, do a little painting in my sketchbook. Um, you can hear the birds outside just a good opportunity to get some painting done. Uh, one of the nicest things about uh, having the artwork in the gallery was uh, being able to visit with some of the people that came in. There was uh, one lady that was uh, just standing in front of my big painting and just looking at it and so I walked up beside her and she was talking about the painting and saying that almost had an impressionistic feel to it and so I thought oh she must be an artist so we got talking about art and uh, the joy that uh, can come into your life as you uh, try to create art and do these paintings and and I talked to her a little bit about just no matter what the outcome you just go ahead and paint and create and make something and uh, she said, boy, I really needed to hear that today. And, and so it was kind of a good experience, and I could kind of connect with her. She said that she worked down at the uh, Joseph Smith Red Brick store, and so I uh, wanted to go down and um, visit with her the next day. Um, so went down, and uh, she was behind the counter. Me and Becky went down, and... She was uh, really busy, and then when she saw us, she just came around the counter and gave us a big hug and chatted with us and told us about the things in the store. And um, Then she, uh, there was a uh, young man that was working with her, and um, she was trying to get him to sing for us, but he was uh, not going to sing. And then as we left and walked up the... Uh, sidewalk outside uh, she yelled at us and said ladies ladies come back and so we uh, came back and uh, 
the young man saying the Spirit of God like a fire is burning in uh, Tahitian for us. And uh, there was a slight pause as a, a loud uh, lawnmower tractor rode by on the uh, road, and then he uh, started singing again and sang the second verse. So it's uh, connecting with people like this that uh, makes the trip and uh, doing your artwork worthwhile. Um, all in all, it was a great experience. We met a lot of very nice people and um, very enjoyable. Um, the big painting that I did um, ended up staying in Nauvoo. And, uh, that's very nice when you're able to uh, do a big painting like that and uh, someone loves it and uh, it ends up finding a home where it should have found a home there in uh, beautiful Nauvoo.